So in this video, we're going to go through factoring trinomials and the steps that follow with that. So looking at this first one, I see that there's something wrong with this. Not everything is on one side. So to start this problem, I first need to move this 11a to the other side. And since it's my middle term, I'm going to go ahead and place it in the middle. And now that I have all terms on one side, I'm going to go ahead and go through my AC method. So my first step is I'm going to multiply A times C, so I'm going to do 5 times 6, just 30. And now I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 30, but then add to negative 11. So I can just go through my factors of 30. First, I know it's multiplying to a positive 30, but adding to a negative 11. So that means both of these numbers are going to end up being negative. So first, I know negative 1 and negative 30 go. That doesn't add to 11, though. Negative 2, negative 15, still not 11. Negative 3 and negative 10, still not 11. 4 doesn't go into 30. 5 does. And I see I get the two numbers that I want. So once I found those two numbers, I'm going to take those and I'm going to split this middle term. And so now instead of having negative 11a, I'm going to have minus 5a minus 6a. So exactly the numbers that I just found over here. And then I'm just going to drop down my first and last term. So my 5a squared is just going to go down here and then my plus 6. And so the reason why we did this is now I have four terms, so I can factor by grouping. So I'm going to pair them off. My first one, finding the GCF. 5 can go into both. And then my first pair is always going to have a letter that comes out. So it's going to have a 5a. My next one, a 6 can come out. This 6 doesn't have an a with it, so I can't take out an a. And then the only thing I have to be careful is I don't like my first term being negative. So that means I'm going to take out a negative 6 here. And so then from here, my GCF goes out in front. And then I'm going to divide these to get my inside my parentheses. So 5a squared divided by 5a, I just get a. Negative 5a divided by 5a, same on top and bottom. So I'm just going to get a minus 1. Here, my negative 6 comes out in front. And I get a minus 1 as well. And now I know I'm doing it right because both of these are the same. So I'm going to take my GCFs, and they're going to go into their own parentheses. And then my a minus 1. And now the test will probably tell you to solve, or it'll just be equal to zero. Whenever it's equal to zero, that means I need to take both of these and set them both equal to zero. And then solve for a. So for this, I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And then divide by 5. So I get a is equal to 6 fifths. On this one, all I need to do is add 1 to both sides, so I get a is equal to 1. And so those are my two answers. Another way that problem may come up on your test is in this, where you select all that apply. So this one says to find all the factors of the polynomial, select all that apply. So just like this top one, where we couldn't factor it yet because they weren't all on the same side, the same thing is happening here. I have terms on both sides of this equal sign. So my first step is I need to subtract over this 4x and this 5. So what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I'm going to subtract this 4x, and I'm going to subtract it from its like term. I'm going to subtract the 5 and subtract it from its like term. So now I get equal 0 like I want. 30x minus 4x, I get 26x. 
negative 4 minus 5, I get negative 9. And now I'm going to go through the same process. So I'm going to do a times c. 3 times negative 9, I get negative 27. And I'm looking for two numbers that multiply negative 27 but add to 26. So they're multiplying to a negative number and adding to a positive. So that means my numbers on the left, the small numbers, need to be negative. So my two options are, I know 1 and 27 multiply to 27, and then 3 and 9. And then of those two pairs, that's the one that adds to 26. So now I'm going to take those two numbers and split my middle term. So I have a negative x plus 27x. And it's really important that you put that x there with it because it is splitting this x term. And I'm going to bring down my first and my last term. And then now that I have four terms, I'm going to factor by grouping. My GCF in this first one, 3 and 1, only a 1 can go to both, but I can take out an x. For this next one, the biggest number that goes into 27 and 9 is 9. So my GCF goes out in front. 3x squared divided by x, I get 3x. Negative x divided by x, same thing on top and bottom, so I'm just going to get a minus 1. GCF goes out in front. 27x divided by 9 is 3x. Negative 9 divided by 9 is minus 1. And then I just put my GCFs out in front, so I have x plus 9. 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. And so now this question is asking us to find the factors of the polynomial. Well, what we just did is we factored it. And so I'm just looking to see which ones have those two factors, and that's going to be A and B.